Hey, what's happening? It's Nick with Lone Star Boot Reviews, and today we're going to be taking a look at the Twisted X Men's Rancher Western Boot in Wide Square Toe. Now, I picked these boots up on Shufflers.com. They were on sale for about 100 bucks, and I've been wanting to review some Twisted X's for a long time, so I went ahead and took advantage of that sale. So as far as my knowledge goes, Twisted X was a pretty new brand, but I did a quick search on their website and it turns out they've been around since 2005, which is quite a bit longer than what I thought. And they make everything from casual shoes to work boots to western boots, you know, belts, all kinds of stuff. Now when I looked on their website and looked at all the different models, they remind me a lot of Ariat's. Similar styles, similar designs. They do have more that come with a leather sole than I think Ariat does, but most of them, just like Ariat, are wide square toe. So what do you say we take a look at these boots? All right, so first thing, there is very little leather smell. It's not the intoxicating type. It's got a little bit of kind of a chemical smell as well. It's a very thin, soft leather. It feels a lot nicer than what I thought I was going to when I pulled this out of the box. It's a very nice brown color. You can see it's not an ultra wide square toe. It's a single stitch three quarter well with uh, brass nails holding it in, rubber heel cap, brass nails holding those on, stacked leather heel, kind of a roper heel. I mean, this is basically a stockman boot. The stitching design on the tops is okay. Honestly, it feels a little cheap. It's not bad, but it doesn't feel like a you know high dollar expensive boot to me. It's the same kind of thin leather, and I don't know, for some reason it feels a little like plastic, even though it's obviously leather. The stitching design, eh, I mean it's not that fancy. It's got some kind of scallops and stuff here. I guess it's not bad, it's just kind of not my taste, you know, so that's, that's all personal preference. The toe bug looks really nice but one thing I noticed right off the bat is there is an imperfection in the finish right here it looks like a, some kind of a drop of something hit that and it's a lighter color I don't know if it took off the brown color or if it's a lighter color and stained it so it's a little disappointing, but for the price I paid, that doesn't bother me all that much. And I could probably just hit it with a little brown polish and take that out. The Vamp is a really soft leather, you guys. I mean, really soft. Here's a, some more little finish issues where it's kind, of a, it's kind of flat compared to the rest of it. It's not as shiny. There's a little bit of a rough spot right here on the toe right there. And then one thing else I notice is, if you can see right here, there is a scuff or something right there. And that one bothers me enough that, you know, I have a little bit of an issue with that. You've got some kind of finish that's peeling off right here. Boot top, the same, kind of feels plasticky. But seriously, this vamp is extremely soft, but it also feels very thin. It's leather lined. The seams are covered with a piece of fabric, which I really like. The leather lining in the boot shaft is really pretty soft. This one feels a little smoother and softer than this boot does, but they're both very soft and really a lot higher quality than what I expected. Now it does have removable insoles. It's just foam. It doesn't really feel bad. It feels kind of nice. It's got some good padding in the heel. Reminds me a little bit of an Ariat insole, except it doesn't have any gel like in the heel and the forefoot. But overall, it doesn't feel bad. So overall, imperfections aside, I like the look of this boot. Oh, here's another one I noticed. Look at this. Right here, it's got that same 
spot where it looks like a drop of something hit it. So what do you say we try these on? So my first impression is they feel really tight. I went up a whole size from what I thought I needed and they're still way too narrow. So this feels like a 12B to me. It's just really tight. And I'm getting a weird rocking weird rocking feeling in the boot so when i stand normally the back of the heel is not on the ground i don't know if you can see that but it is not comfortable and it creates a big hump right in the arch of my foot so i guess if you had a really high arch that might not feel bad but this rocking feeling is terrible I'm, I don't like that. That's not comfortable at all. Now these do feel narrow, but honestly, as I wear it, it feels a little more comfortable. I think that because that leather is so soft and thin, that it will stretch quite a bit. And I think this would stretch to be my size. And other than it feeling a little tight, these would take no break in time. I mean, they're just so soft that there's no break in at all. They actually, as far as the, as far as the width goes, I'm kind of used to it already and that doesn't feel bad. The bad part is this rocking in the heel. I hope that's coming through on the camera because it's, it's terrible. Honestly, it's as bad as the Alpha Western wear boots that had the rounded forefoot. Um, if, if you haven't seen that video, I'll put the link up here. And uh, you should go watch that. But this feels, it feels different, but it's just as bad. Those Alphas rocked side to side, and these rock front to back. And I hate it. There is no way that I could wear this boot for an extended period of time. Which is disappointing. All right, so let's go back up top. All right, so final thoughts. I don't have much good to say about this boot, honestly. Um, my first impression, I thought it might be a good first boot for somebody because I felt like as soft as this leather is, there would be little to no break in time. And when I tried it on, I agree with that. But here's the thing, I just checked the video and you can see I'm getting a lot of weird creases on the sides here, even though this fit is extremely narrow. When I checked my toe just now when I was pulling these off, my toe only comes to like right here. I mean, there is almost probably an inch and a half more space than I need in the toe box and they still fit really tight. I don't know if that's the case with all the Twisted X's, but based on this one, I think sizing is gonna be an issue because this boot is too long for me and I'm getting these weird creases even though it's a really snug fit. Like I said, I think probably in not very much time this would stretch to fit my foot well. But again, I don't want an inch and a half or two inches too much room in the toe. You know, I would definitely have to probably go down this was a 12d i'd probably have to be like an 11 wide if not a 10 and a half and then you know then you got to factor in the width so i'm not sure but this one definitely does not fit well i can't recommend this to anybody even at a hundred dollars i'm a lot more disappointed than i thought i was going to be honestly given how popular the brand is that rocking back and forth, I don't know if you can see this, but I'm trying to hold this up straight. And can you see how angled this heel is? This is, you know, about where I think the ball of my foot would be on the ground. 
and you're going up a good quarter of an inch angle on that heel and it makes it rock back and forth really bad so that alone makes me not like this boot I'm gonna end the video there that's probably enough talking bad about this thing you get the idea that I don't like it and I wouldn't recommend it but if you like this video and you want to see more content like this please hit the subscribe button and go ahead and click that little bell so you're notified every time I upload a video Thank you for everybody who subscribes and everybody who watches this video. And I'll catch y'all on the next one. Take it easy.